The Great Search is brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, Digikey, for supporting Great Search. The Great Search is Lady Ada's attempt to share her wisdom of searching for parts. And boy, is that a useful skill now? Because there ain't no parts. There's not a lot of parts, it's so, true. So what's The Great Search this week? Okay, so The Great Search this week is... Um, it's actually interesting. This week I had a little bit of a scramble. I had to go and find a bunch of 32 kilohertz crystals. And I know we did crystals on the Great Search a while ago. We did 16 megahertz crystals for a design. 32 kilohertz RTC crystals are a tiny bit different. Um, not like super different, but you know, they're, they're very common. There are a couple things uh, to look for. Um, so I thought I would, uh, I would show on um, digikey.com and also th looking through the data sheet for this chip, um, how to find the right uh, crystal for this new design I've put together. Okay, let's do it. So you're gonna go to the computer? Yeah, so I'm at the computer. Um, so this board uh, uses the SAMD51, and um, one thing that's interesting about this, this, this chip is, um, you know, some crystals, so, sorry, some of my controllers need like a 12 or 24 or 48 megahertz crystal. Um, those numbers, particular 12, 24, 48, are pretty common because, um, and 16, because they divide evenly down um, to a USB frequency of 12 megahertz, which is the, kind of the frequency that a lot of USB native chips want to use. The SAMD51 does have native USB, but it doesn't use a 12 or 24 megahertz crystal. Instead, it uses a single one, 32 kilohertz crystal. And you're probably like, hey, USB doesn't run on 32 kilohertz. True, but inside the SAMD51 is a phased lock loop, and that is a uh, circuit that takes the 32 kilohertz frequency and multiplies it up to like 12, 24, you know, 64, whatever megahertz uh, it needs. In this case, the SAMD51 actually runs at 120 megahertz on the inside, and it can do that dynamically scaling by phase lock looping onto the 32 kilohertz crystal. Um, there is an oscillator inside, but it uses the 32 kilohertz crystal to, to tune it, um, to make it nice and precise. So um, the crystal we use here is 32 kilohertz. So, you know, why 32? Because if you want to go into a low power, like ultra low sleep mode, um, you, can, you can actually run directly, and not on USB, you can run off a of 32 kilohertz, or if you're having a real time counter inside um, the chip also, 32 kilohertz is really common because it's a, a 2 to the 15 divider of one second. If you have a counter that's 15 bits, you count up every cycle tick, you'll get to one second when it rolls over. Great. So um, in the data sheet, uh, there is a little section on um, this crystal, and they tell you here's what you need to do. Um, this is the crystal itself, which they model as a sort of complicated, you know, LRC circuit. This is a true capacitor. Uh, this is a true capacitor, and this is a C stray. This is not a true capacitor. That's the that's the internal capacitance of the uh, pins and the PCB and the pads, which is going to be very low. It's going to be, you know, picofarads, maybe femtofarads. Um, so basically, they say, look, you know, make this crystal. 32 kilohertz and make the load capacitance no more than 12.5 picofarad, which is quite common. Um, you'll often see 12.5 uh, picofarad, 6 picofarad is also very common. And then um, the uh, external crystal value is calculated down here. It's basically two times the load, minus a little bit. So for 12 picofarad, you multiply that by two, you get 25. Um, and then you subtract a little bit for that C stray, which is again a picofarad or two. And you basically get 20, 22 picofarad, which is why you're gonna see often 22 picofarad, right? Two times the, the load capacitance. Now, when you're buying 32 kilohertz crystals, um, especially now during this semiconductor shortage, and, and by the way, these are not considered semiconductors, but uh, there's a shortage of crystals, probably because people are hoarding them because if you have a semiconductor, you need to have the matching crystal. And um, you know, they're, not, they're not cheap, so you want to, and there's not that many suppliers, so you want to get them, have them in stock and ready for when the rest of the components come in. And so these are kind of having a, there's like a secondary shortage of, um, of, uh, of uh, crystals and oscillators. So um, that said, you know, you saw in the data sheet it said maximum 12.5 picofarad. 
you can go less. Sometimes you can get six or seven picofarad and then just don't forget to change those load capacitors from 22 to 14. But that's easy to do. You just swap them out. You know what I mean? So um, the most important thing is the physical package. The capacitance itself doesn't matter. 12.5 picofarad again is the most common. But if you're picking the load capacitors, you can go with six or nine. Just, just FYI. I, I haven't had to do that yet, but I'm ready to do it if I absolutely have to. All right, so we're uh, doing stuff in TikTok now, too. Oh, there's our cat. Cat passed away a couple of years ago. That's a MOSFET. Hi. Um, so uh, we use EagleCAD, but we also use KeyCAD, and uh, we publish all of our files. And before anyone gets hung up on it, doesn't matter what tool you use. Just publish your files. doesn't matter if you use Windows or a Mac. Mm. You still can do open source. Don't get hung up on that stuff. Everyone needs to chill out. Do you think that the TikTok teens are angry about open source licensing? TikTok teens are cool. Um, they're actually chill. Okay. So next up, um, someone says, how bad is the shortage? Is, is the components are gone or they're much more expensive? Both. Both. So for example, actually, <laughs> this is the SAMD51 I wanted to show. This part, if you look, you can actually get, you know, 8,000 in the next two months, which is, you know, not bad. Um, but if you want more than that, you'll have to wait exactly a year till 2022. So yeah. um, it's one of those things where... You know, sometimes you can get the parts and then sometimes you're getting, I'm getting lead times about a year right now. So it was a year back in January and it's still a year. So it's going to be basically two years of not being able to get um, semiconductors at a, at a regular I'm going to call it. TikTok questions are great. Do you manufacture the trinkets and the feathers in New York City? Yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And uh, not I, here in my in my room at you, the factory. Yeah, this is our a tiny apartment as you can It's tell. a very this tiny is, apartment. This is, this is, this is, yeah, and it looks like, you know. Yeah, as you can imagine, this is what our apartment looks like. Yeah, it's okay. it's Anywho, like, it looks like an apartment. Yeah, but good question, TikTok. Mm. All right. Okay, so you want to find this 32 kilohertz crystal. So at the top, you can type in 32 kilohertz. Now, technically, it's 32.768. So I should type that in, 768 kilohertz. I, I always shorthand it to 32, even though, like, you'd think it would be rounded up to 33. It's not. Um... And then under crystals, okay, so lots of crystals, and they come in lots of shapes. That said, you know, I one of the things that makes it easier for me is all of my boards use the same size components as much as possible. Like we reuse the components. And that actually helps a lot in a shortage because you only have to source that one part. Even if it's harder to get that one, like it's, it's easier, I've found, to get a lot of one part than to try to get lots of multiple parts, um, especially something like a crystal where there's multiple sources. Yeah. So someone says, is the low part, is the low part counts the cause of things going out of stock almost as soon as they are they hit the store for our stuff? Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's hard to get stuff. And, and another thing is when things are out of stock, we have people signed up to... Not backward, because we move backwards, yeah. but they get notified when we're in stock. And so the longer it's out of stock, the more people are signed up. And then when we do go in stock, it just goes that much yeah, faster. Yeah, and then some people are freaking out, and they're like, well, I better buy everything right now. So it, it, it's kind of a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, I heard everything's out, so I'm going to buy everything all the time. I heard everything's out. <laughs> yeah, that said, you know, we're doing pretty good. We're able to keep most things in, in stock. Some things are, you know, totally yeah. ridiculously unavailable, but um, most things are. Okay, so... Uh, so for this uh, part, um, this footprint is 32.15, 3.2 by 1.5 uh, millimeters. So, uh, you know, here's the thing. With crystals, you can actually go a little bit smaller, and they'll probably even fit on the footprint. Um, so if you're absolutely desperate, you can do that. That said, you know, I think I'm going to try to get a part that's exactly um, going to fit. So, oh, mind me, it's, this is... 3.2 by 1.5 millimeters. So under size and dimension, here I think it's visible. I'm going to do, and this is weird because it's in inches and millimeters. So three point, well, first off, let me do only surface mount. I'm going to answer a question while you're doing this. Yeah. I noticed that DigiKey and Micro Center have stock when you folks are not. Should I wait and order from Adafruit? So here's what you should do. Sign up on Adafruit, and the second it comes back in stock, order it. You could potentially order from DigiKey and Micro Center, but usually our retail customers on Adafruit.com, they get it first. But either, either do both. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, do, do both. We, we try to supply that, everybody. That, that's the world we live in now. Okay, so the next thing is I'm actually going to get rid of these parts with four pads because my, my package is definitely, it's a, it's a two-pad package. Let me see. 
front fab print. Uh, sorry, second, this is. So this is the crystal. It's a it's a two. Sorry. This is the crystal, and it's a two pad um, package. So going back here, let's do two SMD only. Okay, so now we're we have only these. So now we have to actually do the size. So okay, size dimension three by two by one point two and three point two by one point five. I think I'm also going to grab the 3.3 by 1.6 and 2.5 by 1.2. Because, again, I think those will probably fit on the same pads. And then, finally, I'm going to select only stuff in stock because I want to get this now. Um, okay, so there's actually quite a few options. And this is where we can start looking at the load capacitance. Like I said, you have a couple load capacitance uh, decisions to make. And if your chip, some chips actually have internal tuning capacitors, or if it's like a real-time clock, sometimes whatever, it's internal, and they, they really do say it has to be six, seven, nine, whatever picofarads. For me, um, I kind of want to stick to the same, like I don't want to have two crystals with different uh, load capacitances if I can get away with it. So 12 picofarads, and yeah, there's seven stop. So um, I can sort by price. And, uh, you know, this one is kind of nice. This one there is uh, 51,000. I'll say that this is a marketplace product, which means it can take a lot longer. So this one is like, you know, 50 days uh, to ship. If you do not want to wait that long, um, you can always exclude marketplace. Just click on exclude marketplace and then apply it. And then you'll only get ones that are like really in stock at DigiKey. And so this one by Citizen Fine Devices, which is a great name. Um, so they have 90,000 in stock, which is great, and about you know 40 cents a piece. Look at the specs, but it's got what I need, 32 kilohertz, 20 ppm, 12.5 picofarads, fundamental, SMD, 3.2 by 1.5. So this is good. You know, um, I think that they recently restocked these because I don't remember seeing 90,000 crystals in stock wow. before. Uh, I would have purchased them. But uh, yeah, this is... Uh, you know, if you have a design and you are waiting for components, you know, definitely the semiconductors and the chips, of course, the, are out. But I'm also seeing a lot of um, annoying lead time issues with crystals. So I do recommend if you need a crystal to order it early. You can always wait on the capacitors and resistors a little bit. Um, but crystals are definitely, um, they're being hit by this uh, semiconductor shortage. Probably it's a secondary effect. But uh, lots of these. So this one is good. Good for all sorts of uses. That's a great church. Yay! <laughs>